Hello, and welcome to the first public demonstration of Agent Zero. My name is Jan, I am the developer behind this project, and in this video I will do a quick cut through the framework and all of its features for you. Agent Zero is an agentic AI framework that doesn't need to be pre-configured. You don't have to create your agents and tasks and tools beforehand. This framework can do it on the fly. As an example, I can tell him, get time in Berlin and Seattle. The agent doesn't have any specific tool for the job, but he can use the code execution tool to write his own Python code and execute it in a safe Docker container. So he is using the time zone library, which is not installed. That is why he gets the error. So he installs the library, writes the code again, and he needs to print these two variables to be able to see them in the terminal, which he does now. He gets the answer in the terminal and he's going to report the answer back to me. So, as you can see, the agent doesn't need a specific tool for anything he needs to do. He can write his own Python, JavaScript, or Linux terminal and execute it. I can now tell him, save it in a file using Node.js, and the agent will write the JavaScript code in Node.js and save it into his work directory as a timeinfo.txt. Now, let's try something else. Let's make him a download a specific YouTube video about RAG. This will require some search. That's why the agent has a built-in knowledge tool. So this is a combination of online search and offline memory search. Right now, he should have some information about YouTube videos about RAG. There is a link to some of these YouTube videos. So he should now find a library to download the video and proceed. Okay, he is using YouTube DL in Python, which is not installed. So he installs that package. And he gets some errors. And right now I can stop my agent in the middle of his message and I can intervene if I see he is headed in the wrong direction. And I can tell him use YT DLP because I know this library is going to work. So he installs YTDLP. And he is able to download a video about RAG. But now, let's say I just want the audio of that video. So make an MP3 using FFMPAG. So he checks the version of FMPAG, which is not installed. So he proceeds with installing that library. The library is installed. And now the conversion happens. And I already have. And uh, let's see a simple workflow. The audio file here. Now, the agent is also capable of answering interactive terminal programs. If I make him install Midnight Commander without the Y flag, there will be a dialogue in the installation process. So he will now send the Y key to the terminal, confirming the dialogue and proceeding with the installation. And because there is a full Debian Linux running in the container, the agent has access to all of the system features, so he can show me the system load in real time, for example. And there is also a built-in memory into the agent. So you can instruct your agent to store or load memories from the database, and he can also do it automatically with the knowledge tool. And the agent is also capable of spawning other agents and cooperating with them. So if I tell him create five flowers in SVG, use different agents for each, he is going to be able to delegate his subtasks to other agents, starting with agent one, then discarding him and spawning another instance of Agent 1. If Agent 1 wants to delegate his task further, he will spawn Agent 2 and Agent 2 will spawn Agent 3, etc. So this way the Agent 0 can keep his context window much cleaner by delegating parts of his task to his subordinate agents and offloading some of that work into their context window. Okay, so 
This has been the current state of development of the Agent Zero framework. As you can see, this framework is very different to all of the other AI frameworks. It has been built to be more of a personal assistant that, rather than predefined AI agentic framework. It is compatible with basically any off-the-shelf model right now. The tool system has been built specifically for this project. The JSON parser has been built for this project. It is very forgiving. It can do even incomplete or invalid JSON outputs. So if some of the smaller models have problem generating a proper JSON, this framework will handle them as well. Also, it is a fully Python project, so you can download this code from the GitHub repository. The link will be in the description and you can just install the requirements in this file and get going. The execution is done in the Docker container. You only need to have Docker desktop installed and the rest will happen automatically. The image and the container will be spawned automatically by the Python code in here. And also this framework is highly customizable. You can see the prompts folder. There are various prompts that the framework uses. There is the main system prompt. There are descriptions and examples for all the tools the agent can use. These are the built-in tools like respond to the user, execute code, search memory and search online, etc. There are no more specific tools. The rest can be built by the agent himself. And there are also all of these small messages being sent to the agent in the process. So you can edit them all and customize the framework to your liking. You can change the behavior of the framework dramatically just by editing the system prompt. If you want to change the communication tool calling the delegation to subordinate agent, you can do it all here in the prompt. You don't need to touch the code. If you need to touch the code, everything is in the Python directory. There are these tools that can be edited. You can add your own custom tools and they will start to work automatically. You just have to create a Python file with the execute function and tell the agent about the file here in the agent tools file and the tool will start working right away. Also, because the framework runs on your PC and only the execution of the code written by the agent executes in the Docker container, you can use VS Code to debug the framework and to see uh, everything inside here. I have also included a configuration for Visual Studio Code. There is a configuration for the debugger, for example, so you can start running and debugging this code in Visual Studio right away. This project is still in beta. There is a lot of work to be done. At the time of recording this video, there is a version 0.3 on GitHub, but you can download this version and test it right away. It should be more or less stable. You can even help me by improving the system prompt. That would be much appreciated and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.